It's Amanju, and welcome back to Days Gone. Last time, uh, I signed off saying that I was going to go exploring a little bit. And I didn't want to talk about it. I wasn't sure if it was going to mount to anything or not. So here's what I did. Remember when I went looking for uh, some medical supplies in Ripper Territory and I like snuck in across this bridge and went through this canyon and got into Ripper Territory? I wanted to explore that more and I thought about doing it at the time but decided, nah, I'll come back later. Well, last episode was later and I decided to come back and check this out. I wanted to see if I could explore and find my way up to, where is it, over here. Uh, this narrow checkpoint has a speaker, and it's like on the other side of a fence that I can't get to, and I wonder if I could access it from the south through our territory. No. The answer is no, and I'm not going to show any footage of my going to explore, because I got across the bridge into this canyon, and it was just walled off. I, I couldn't go into Ripper territory. So that was kind of a bust. Uh, but anyway, at this point, I'm in, uh, made the rest of the way to Copeland's camp, and I'm going to find my way back up to... O'Leary Mountain to the old hideout and see if I can recover Boozer's bike and I don't know how but try to get it back to Lost Lake somehow. I don't know how. Had maybe a hundred dogs. Strays mostly. If you so let's go do that. Let's go see if we can find Boozer's bike. Wait a second. Oh, looks like some people moved in. Anybody else home? And some interlopers move in. Man, the axe is in terrible shape. Let's try and repair it as best I can. can you use this. Well, that's weird. What are these people doing squatting over here? Anyway, let's go in here. Always need scrap. I do always need scrap. Keep fixing that up. It's pretty good shape. Looking for supplies. There's some more scrap. First aid. I'm just curious to see if there's anything up here. Nothing in there. There's a gun locker, but that doesn't really help me. I could sleep here, but that also doesn't help me. Nope. Alright, let's go down. I think maybe in that little shed there is where the bike is. I can't remember. Or that shed over there. There, there it is. That's the bike. Am I going the wrong way? I am totally going the wrong way. Uh, hey, hey, hey. All right, sorry about that. Wandering around aimlessly. This is the bike. What am I supposed to do? Ride it back? What about my own bike? Wait a minute. My quest is simply to get on his bike. Apparently I'm going to have to leave my own bike behind. That seems stupid. Hey, I brought you something. Wait, what the fuck? You... You went up and got my bike? Well, I didn't want Cope getting it, parting it out. Jesus, Deke. Hey, I mean, I mostly did it, you know, in case I need parts. It's not like your gimp ass is gonna need them. Shit. Thanks, brother. That's the one thing I miss. Riding on the open road. Yeah, that's right. The shifter's on one of the handles, too, right? can't ride it. Not unless he modifies it.
dig. Addie just wanted me to tell you that she paid some men to go get your bike and bring it back. It's over at the mechanic's shop. Oh, wait, what? You're welcome, Deke. Ricky out. Wow, that was really nice of him. I wondered how that was going to work. Just pay some other schmuck to do it. Custom skin. Eh. Alright, well that's something. I got my bike back. Wait, is there something going on over here? I don't see anything. Forget it. I know that, um... I know that Ricky had another job for me. Problem. So I'm gonna have a talk with him. Right. That was weird. <laughs> Return to Iron Mike's camp. I'm like, I'm right here! Alright, where is Ricky? There you are. Keep hiding behind your bike there, tinkering Dave. with it. I'm really worried. Uh, Ricky, what's up? The Butler twins, Abigail and Gabby. You know them? No, no. but uh, I've seen them around. What's, what's what's going on? What's wrong? They went out fishing yesterday, and they didn't come back. Well, the lake sure is pretty safe so long as they stay out of the marsh. That's just it. They weren't at Lost Lake. They went east, over to the Metolius River. What the hell were they thinking? Okay, all right, yeah. I'll uh, I'll see if I can find them. Deacon, thank you so much. My husband used to All right. Well, hopefully I can I find them in one piece. Let me make sure my bike is gassed up, and then we'll get moving. Just looking around. Yeah, a little bit of fuel. Okay, okay. I'll top you off. All right. See you okay. around. I want to check out this question mark. I said I'd never do these again. <laughs> Me and a couple of guys burned out in a nest a few weeks back. You know, uh, uh, hold on a second. I'll get it. Oh, what the heck? Is it now gone? St. John. Never mind. Mark Copeland, a deacon St. John. Hey, Cope. Cope. What's up? What's up? Just checking in. A couple of my men were up to the top of O'Leary Mountain the other day. Said they found a safe house set up in an old Forest Service watchtower. So? Is that right? Yes, sir. That's what I'm told. So? They said it was abandoned, but funny thing. Whoever lived there left behind a bike. No, you didn't. shake too by the sound of it. Really? Indeed. That's not the funny thing. The funny thing... They went back up there today to pick it up, but the bike was gone. Now, ain't that a hit scratcher? Huh. Look, Coke is all really fascinating, but, uh... Now, hold on. Here's the fascinating part. They swear that old bike, well... It looked a lot like the one Boozer used to ride. Okay, so let me get this straight, Cope. You guys went up to O'Leary Mountain. You found what you thought was Boozer's bike. And the first thing you thought of was, Hey, why don't we just go back and steal it? Salvage, Deke. Salvage. But no, that was my second thought. My first was, whatever happened to old Boozer? Manny says he hasn't seen him around for some time. I don't know, Cope. Next time I see him, I'll let him know how much you miss him. St. John out! That was kind of a bizarre conversation. I don't even know what to make of that. Deacon, you there? Yeah, Addie, what's up? Can you stop by the infirmary when you get a chance? Anything wrong? No, I just need to talk to you. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Okay. Now, anyway. I, I don't really understand why Copeland... ...saw fit to mention that stuff to Deacon. Why? I, I don't even understand that.
Hey, Ricky, what else can you tell me? Before everything went to hell, the girls' family had a fishing site that they always used to go to. I marked it on your map. Okay, I'll start there. Deacon out. I hear somebody say something. Okay. Fishing pole. That's just the one. It's uh -huh. uh, got to be the right place. They okay, left their hole behind. Oh, shit. Marauders, Jesus. Why would they take prisoners? Up this way. Fire up ahead. Tracks lead down this road. Okay, buddy. Uh, hang on. No, freakers! Get down, freaks! Gotcha. I couldn't resist that. Well, now they got their attention, though. Where's the... Well, I probably shouldn't have stirred up that hornet's nest. Ow, 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 jerk. That didn't really hurt that much, actually. <laughs> Got a piece of them. I keep my eyes peeled. And I'm gonna pick a plant while I'm here. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I couldn't resist throwing the grenade, but unfortunately that drew a lot of attention. Now they're all over me. Still that annoying sniper out there. I don't know how many guys I just took out there. It's a lot. I can't see him. But that tracer points both ways. No, that's not. I don't know where he is. Um. Let's see if I can find a way to approach. Was I getting sniped any further? Come on, come on, come on! At last. Now I see him! And he's not looking this way. Let's see if I can do this without using any more bullets. He lost track of me. Need that? 
Hi! There's still some hostiles nearby. I must carry on the time-honored tradition of collecting the loot from the dead. Although... Oh, there's still a couple guards in there. Okay. And a hostage. Um... Hang on, kids. <laughs> it's not like I'm going to find anything that great loot in these corpses, but I just can't resist doing it. That's enough of that. Uh, distractions. I could try a smoke bomb. Problem is, it looks like the door is closed. I don't know if there's an open door I can get into. door open? No. Uh, that's a problem. Unless there's some other way in here. Like through the roof. It doesn't look like it. No. Looks like I'm going to have to take the direct approach. Not much I can do about it. They're going to see me coming. That did it. Inside here. <laughs> did I just throw a rock? Throw a smoke bomb. Looks like there's only going to be one way to do this. Bring no him down. Gotcha. On my side. Move. Well, that sucked. Okay. Where are they? Oh, they're in the closet. Anybody home? Got it. <laughs> Tommy, it's okay. Hey, hey, hey. I'm not here to hurt you. Ricky sent me. They killed my sister. They killed Abigail. Oh, I know, I know. I'm sorry. Uh, we just have to get you back to camp. Come on, come on with me. No, 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 I can make it myself. I can. Okay, go, go. Hmm. We're finally there. Level two trust. Whew. That was quite a fight. Yes, trust level two. And God knows I have a lot of credit. I intend to make use of that credit. Let me let me search around here. Um, I'm out of scrap parts. There's some. And um, then we'll head back to Iron Mike's and we're going to go shopping. Ricky. I found her alive. 
Deacon, thank God. Look, she wouldn't come with me, so you gotta send someone who knows her, okay? She's on her way back to camp. Okay. All right, okay. Ricky out. Hey, did someone pick her up? Hey, Deke, yeah, she's fine. A little traumatized, but I guess no more than anyone else. Um, I guess we all know what it's like to lose someone. Yeah, I guess we do. Someone's approaching yeah. the gate. Yeah, see you, Ricky. It's all right. Open up. We're cool, right? Yeah, we're cool. So, uh... Um... A couple months ago, we were up by crazy. Oh, and he wanted to see me about yeah. something. Well, let's see what she wants. I thought maybe the place wasn't picked over. Hey, Deacon, you got a second? How's William? I haven't seen him lately. How's Boozer? How the hell are any of us? He's surviving. Yeah, well, then he's doing better than most. Yeah. Listen. You need to keep an eye on him. What do you mean? Well, losing an arm is a big adjustment. He's given up the life he had. <sighs> it wasn't much of a life, Addy. I... You're his friend. The only one he's got. Yeah, it, it's going to be an adjustment for Boozer. And, you know, I was talking about that, that, you know, maybe we can fix up his bike so that he can ride it one-handed. Boozer's fine. He'll I, live I don't know way. about that. He, maybe he'll live. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be an adjustment. Anyway, um, let me go spend some money. Because I can spend money now. It's Because I already have a little stubby, but it's not the same quality as this one. This is better quality. It does significantly more damage. A little bit better, better rate of fire. Larger magazine, too. Sweet. You I'll take it. You waiting for something? I'll take it. Yeah, what about primary weapon? Uh, you were thinking about something? Yes, I'm thinking about what weapon to get. Leave me alone. All right, I think I'm going to get this weapon to replace the MWS. And I hope I don't regret that, but it seems like that should be decent. No refunds on that, just so you know. Well, that makes me feel so much better about my purchase. you gotta work, you got to work better on your salesmanship. All right, that'll do, I think. Ah! There are magazine upgrades, but I don't have the trust for that yet. I I saw like a t um, loading screen tip about magazine upgrades, and I didn't know that that was a thing. I can now actually buy flashbangs. Eh. And they have grenades. Ammo's full. All right. Okay, then. We'll have to try this weapon out soon. <laughs> Okay, I already got the best engine available. An exhaust. I could upgrade saddlebags, but eh, I never use ammo from the saddlebags ever. An even more improved gas tank? Sure. Yeah, that'll last you. Yeah, I probably will. I'll never need to fill up. A better frame increases the amount of damage your bike can withstand. Sounds good what to else me. Can I get you? Reduce the amount of damage your bike takes. That's also good. That's a good piece. Nice and sturdy. Increase the speed boost duration. Sounds good to me. <laughs> your bike's looking good now. Tire 2, Alt Tire 2. Increased traction. I think they're both the same traction. It's just a matter of which one looks prettier. I kind of like that. That's more of a dirt bike look. 
Oh, wow, that's a significant increase in traction over what I had. Yeah, good part, that one. And improved fork. Increased amount of damage your bike can withstand. Yeah, that'll last you. Woo! Dark gloss cherry, sure. That's a good piece. Nice and sturdy. I guess. I'll be here if you need All right. I have spent money, lots of money, on upgrades to the I'm bike. Here if it's you need me, man. Later, pretty boys. well pumped out. There's not much more I can get with uh, rank 3 uh, trust with the camp, but that's pretty darn good. Anyway, oh, I didn't know Boozer was at the farm. Let me sleep till morning, and then I'll check with Boozer. Off we go. Kind of curious to see how this bike handles with all the upgrades on it. Crap, I can't see anything. No morning fog. You there? Yeah, Mike. I'm here. Ricky told me what you've done. You said you have you and all. I just... Just wanted to thank you. Since she was in diapers. Sure, Mike. Yeah, I uh, just wish that I could have gotten to Abigail with them. You did what you could, and I'm grateful. See you, Deke. I'm glad you're on this. Wake up. Well, the bright news is they didn't damage my bike. No, I don't think they're waiting to jump you, Deacon. They, I think they did it. They already did it. That's annoying. They just respawn here continuously. That's like the third time they've ambushed me at this site. And it's really annoying because there was an interesting conversation going on there with Iron Mike that I missed it because I got distracted by these guys attacking. Freaking annoying. Really obnoxious. I don't need that. I was hoping to get a chance to use my weapons, but, you know, they just ambushed me. They had to melee them. Right, wait, 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 wait. I don't see any tripwire. Usually they have tripwire. Ah, uh, never mind. Sniper ambush. Oh, God damn it. What? What? Here? Oh, you little pisser. You little son of a pisser. Switch weapons. Freaking annoying! I swear these random encounters where people just respawn all the time is so obnoxious. I hate it. 
Ah, uh, you feel that, huh? God, I freaking hate that. I cleared this area out. I cleared it out once when I came here to take care of all of the uh, freaker nests. I cleared it out again when I went here with Iron Mike. And now they've respawned again. I have to freaking fight these guys all over again. It's so annoying. I hate it. I hate it. That's not fun. Okay. Finally, Jesus. I even I dread to think what they did to my bike. They shot it out from under me. After I just got it fixed up. I'm kind of PO'd right now. Messed up my bike. That should do it. It was all the scrap parts I had. All that was annoying. Wait a minute. Are there more hostiles up here? What's going on up here? We got someone at the gate. Someone's at the gate. Oh, were you dealing with what were you dealing with here? Was it freakers? Open the gate. Hey, open it up. He's okay. Well, these were some kind of raiders attacking the place. I was distracted by the other one, so. Man, that was obnoxious. There's Boozer. Wait a sec, I got it. Wait, what? What the heck was that? What just happened? Why did it... What? I mean, it's daytime, it's noon. Why, what, what happened there? What was that? That was messed up right there. Hi, Boozer. How's it going? Hey, Booze Man. How's it work? I'm having a blast. Love it here. Oh, good. Glad I asked. Later. <laughs> I need a second. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my holy sh oh my shit. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna come out and say this. John Garvin. John Garvin is the creative director and writer behind Days Gone. I want you to know that name. I want you to remember the name John Garvin. He's been the writer for a number of different games. Uh, Uncharted Golden Abyss. I've heard of the Uncharted Go uh, series. I never heard of Golden Abyss. I, I don't know if it's good or not. Um, Mission Force Cyberstorm, which he was the uh, director for that. And that was like 20 years ago. Uh, the Siphon Filter f series, he was a writer for that. Um, so... Remember that name. John Garvin. John Garvin, if you ever by some miracle happen to, to see my Let's Play, I want you to know from the bottom of my heart, you are a freaking idiot. You are a moron. 
you you write like a kindergartner. That is some really grade A first class crap. Unbelievable. You are something special. Something. <laughs> you are something special. Best main story mission ever. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> oh. That is just too good for words. I, I, that just falls in the category of so bad it's good. Oh my gosh. That... I, I gotta admit, I'm entertained. <laughs> Holy cow. Holy cow. i just taken a side trip into the surreal. Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> that is that is just brilliant. That is so brilliant. Oh my god, that's that's genius. Oh, only a genius could write something so stupid. <laughs> oh, this is bullshit. Everything I planned Fantastic. Anyway. <laughs> I can't. I can't even. I I can't go on right now. I can't. Uh, that this this is gonna have to be it for today. Um. Wow. Just. Wow. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna call it here. This is probably gonna be a fairly short episode, but um. What a strange thing to happen, and I'm going to end it off on that. Wait a sec, I got it. Um, and actually, I'm going to close out this episode by um, showing off uh, another little musical number. And Hey, Addy, you there? Deacon, yes, I'm here. Hey, so uh, I, I don't think that, that he's doing so well. I, I don't know, I guess I'm really worried about him. Yeah, me too. When he stopped by, he seemed... I don't know. Angry. Depressed. Look, I'll keep an eye on him. I'll, I'm gonna make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. Uh, see what I can do. I don't know. You do that, Deacon. You're gonna mean a lot to him. Infirmary out. Okay, Infirmary. Talk to you later, Infirmary. Um. Yeah, I, I'm gonna end it here, and I'm gonna uh, close out with a little musical number. This is Radio Free that Oregon. No, the I'm not going to close it out right now. Free. About a month before shit went down, I wrote in my newsletter, Farewell Freedom. Store a year's worth of food and water. Because I knew, no matter what was coming, we were all nine meals from anarchy. I figured, wow. if I could get a few people prepared, the ones who'd really listen, then maybe we'd survive when it all finally collapsed down on our heads. Not as many listen as I'd hoped. Now, those supplies are running out, and folks are going hungry. Remember the parable of the ant and the grasshopper? Well, us ants, who prepared and stored for future calamity, didn't have the heart to starve out you grasshoppers, who danced while the sun was shining without a worry in your head for what calamities the future would bring. Now, we're all paying the price. Are we gonna starve? I don't know. Fish runs are thinning out. Game is getting scarce. Can't remember the last time I saw a buck or a doe. But I'll tell you this much. We're not turning on each other. No, sir. We'll never do that. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Goddamn truth or bullshit. 
Last I checked, the grasshoppers all armed themselves with the teeth, came in, killed all your fucking ants, and took everything you own. So, if you're gonna tell parables, why don't you just get them right? That's gonna be it for today. See you next time for more Amon Chooses. Day's gone. Do it.